Hello there, my name is Ryan Tuberty. Now, you might know me from things like The Late Late Toy Show, where I get to act the maggot and become essentially one of you for one night only. A child. A big, skinny, strange child. And I love it. And one of the main reasons I love it so much is because it allows me, at one point in the show, to talk about my favourite thing in the whole world, which is books. Love them. Why do I like books? Well, why don't you like books? Books are like travel documents. They're like portals and they bring you to different places in the world and different places in your mind. And if you have a book in your hand, you'll never be lonely and you'll never be bored. Sometimes children will say, I don't like reading, it's boring. And I always say, no, you do like reading, you just haven't met the right book yet. Whatever you're interested in, you can be guaranteed there was a book about it somewhere. And if you're interested in bees, that's okay. If you're interested in Liverpool Football Club, that's fine. If you're interested in Kula, uh, GA club, that's fine too. If you're interested in the GPO, done. If you're interested in sweets, chocolate factory. There's a book about everything. And there's a book about everyone. So you're not allowed really, I'm not giving out, I'm just saying, that you're not allowed to say, there's no book about the thing that I like or that I'm interested in because you'll find it's there. The book of your dreams and the author that you're gonna fall in love with is waiting for you on a shelf gathering dust. And when you get it and you pluck it off that shelf, whether it's a bookshop, or in a library and you dust it down and you open it up it's like a pirate finding treasure and the glow coming from the treasure onto his face and you just think good lord where has this book been all my life and then you want to read another one and another one another one another one another one before you know it your brain explodes and it gets very messy but it's fun and when you eventually get the right book and that could be anything that could be the diary of a wimpy kid it could be dork diaries it could be harry potter it could be the lion the witch in the wardrobe it could be an old classic or it could be david williams book once you're reading something you're reading very often the things that you've watched in the cinema or the programs you're watching on tv have come directly from the book first most of the greatest movies ever made were books first. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Willy Wonka, that's Roald Dahl. Um, the BFG is Roald Dahl's book. So never be afraid to watch a movie. Sometimes movies are as good as a book because they're equally great for the imagination. They're f food for the soul because they'll take you somewhere else. It's about what's called escapism. You want to escape into another world and a movie will do that for you. And if you really like a particular film, you might think, that was amazing, who, who made that or who wrote that? and you find out and you go, oh, I'd like to know more. And then you go investigating. It's like one big Indiana Jones adventure through a library. I loved reading books when I was a child. And, I, and even when I got older, like one of my favorite parts of the toy show is the book section, because I want to encourage people to keep on reading because it's so exciting. And I got such enjoyment out of it, I'd like to share that. And then someone suggested, why don't you write a book? And I thought, well, I'm, I, I like reading them, but I'm not very good at writing them. So I tried it. And um, so I came up with a little story about a sheep called Hillary. Um, Hillary, the, the, the sheep, uh, she changed everything. She was a multicolored sheep. Would you like to meet her? I have, I have Hillary here. She's a multicolored sheep in a sea of gray, boring sheep. There she is. And Hillary has book teeth and she looks like no other sheep you've ever met. So Hillary is the sheep who dared to be different. And I love children who are just a little bit different, a little offbeat. But she dares to be different than her. Whoa, whoa! No, no, no. First of all, hello. Hello. Secondly, sheep, not real. Don't panic, okay? This is Hillary. Seamus, Hillary, Seamus, Hillary, Hillary, Hillary. So we're friends. Sheep meet dog, dog meet sheep, friends. Hmm. It's okay. Oh. Ryan, you wrote a book about this sheep. Yes, I did. I, I wrote a book about this sheep because I just liked the idea of a sheep who's a little bit different, who's a bit more fun, who's more interesting, who's not the same as everyone. Mm -hmm. Do you like reading yourself? Can I ask you, do you, do you like to read? I love reading. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, Oh, and you know, Mr. Tuberty, I'd like to show you some of my books. I would love, are these from your own kennel? From the shelves in your kennel? <laughs> yeah, they're from the shelf in the Show kennel. me. Okay, now, these are called Mr. Men. Books. I love these books. Now, I've got some questions for you. Okay? Yeah, sure, sure. Now, you do a TV show, and what's it called again? The, the TV show I present? Yeah. The, the Late Late Show. Yeah, The Late Late Show. Okay, so, Mr. Tall, have you ever had a guest on your show that is Mr. Tall? Well, I'm kind of tall myself. This could be somewhat autobiographical, but uh, I've had some pretty tall people. The last tallest person I had was 
Niall Quinn. Do you remember him from Italia 90? Oh, yeah. Um, you might remember that, but he was, a, he, is, he was a famous footballer. He loves bouncy balls too. He loves bouncy balls. He's like, he's like the, the human dog of Irish football. Yeah. Oh, well, wait a second. What, wait a second. What's this one? Oh, look. This person has definitely appeared on your show. It's you. Who is it? Mr. Skinny, another, actually maybe the Mr. Men books are just different phases of my life, uh, written in, in little square books. Oh, yeah. But this is definitely one that, that would appeal to me because, um, you know, even though I like my burgers, like the way you like your dog bones. Here's another one about you. What's this one? <laughs> this is about me too. So we, actually we kind of need a combination of all of them. And if you put oh, them all together. <laughs> What's next? Mm, oh, oh, there's you. Which one's that now? Oh, no, that's definitely not, no, no, get rid of that one. Oh, okay, no. okay, I'll find no, another no, one. No, 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 I'm not accepting that one about me. That, these are about... Oh, this, yeah, this one is let about you. Let me see, Seamus, let me see. Definitely keep that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah more wrong than right, that's mm. for sure. Oh, okay, so how about this one? Oh, the, oh, this one is definitely you. <laughs> Which one, can we see? De <laughs> that's the, okay, now we're really getting into this, because that, if we put them all together, you get a great insight, Seamus, into my life. Yeah. So you're reading really tremendous books. Wow. 